Is it better to ask for forgiveness or for permission? Welcome to the Sixth Chamber. This is the Film Fighters Academy. During my first ever shoot as a paid employee for a production company, we were filming a concert. I was running out of ideas for different shots when my boss tapped me on the shoulder and told me to go up on stage. I told her I didn't think I was allowed to, but she replied with something that has stuck with me and become a personal mantra to this day. It's always better to ask for forgiveness than for permission. I was nervous as hell, but I jumped up there and I started shooting. The band loved it. They gave me great shots by playing into the camera, and it really added to the video to see their point of view looking out at the audience. Within about 45 seconds, a roadie yelled at me to get off the stage. I apologized, and that was it. If I had asked them for permission to go up on the stage, I would have never gotten the shots. When you're a guerrilla filmmaker, like us film fighters tend to be, you have to do what's best for your film first and get the shots. With that in mind, here are some words of wisdom from Francis Ford Coppola. I believe that filmmaking, as probably as everything, is a game you should play with all of your cards and all of your dice and whatever you've got. So each time I make a movie, I give it everything I have. I think everyone should, and I think everyone should do everything that they do that way. I mean, a movie that aspires for something really terrific and doesn't pull it off is shit, it's scum. And finally you say, fuck it. I don't care if I'm pretentious or not pretentious or if I've done it or I haven't done it. All I know is that I am going to see this movie and that for me it has to have some answers. And by answers, I don't mean just a punchline. Answers on about 47 different levels. And to, it's very hard to talk about these things without being very corny. You use a word like self-purgation or epiphany, they think you're either a, you know, a religious weirdo or a, you know, an asshole college professor. But those are the words for the process, this transmutation, this renaissance, this rebirth, which is the basis of all life. <laughs>